Ty from Kettle Bottom here. Today I'm going to tie a really basic fly to try to get down a little bit in the water column and uh, try to attract some stripers. So this is going to be a, a, a very poor imitation of a clouser when I'm done, hopefully. So I bring it back to the back here, right about to the bend of the hook, where it starts to make the bend. I'll take a little bit of this chartreuse marabou. Marabou is a great material because it's very, very, very fine filaments on the on the feathers, and uh, just the action in the water is incredible. So I'm gonna put a little bit of, it, of that as a tail, position it right on top there, get it all tied in nice. And cut off the excess. I'm actually going to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of a bulked up body on this guy. So I'm going to take a piece of glow bug yarn and chartreuse, tie that in. So I'm going to bring it right up near the front here. Stop maybe a uh, eighth to a quarter inch back. Put another nice layer of thread. Give it grip. Okay, so before I go any further, I want to put some eyes on it. I'm going to tie it up top here so that when you cast it, it actually flips the shank of the hook upside down and it rides point up. Position it where you want it. So a couple times, a couple times, and that should pin it. So that should kind of pin it, but you go in a figure eight pattern around this way. And then maybe a couple wraps in front, a couple more figure eights, a couple wraps in the back, some more figure eights. The idea is the more figure eights you do, the more it'll lock that those eyes into position so they can't spin. Okay, so once you got that, I'm gonna take this uh, bit of yarn that I put in there earlier. Try to wrap it so it's pretty bulky. I kind of want it to uh, really pile up on there. So I'm going to wrap it right up to behind those eyes. And tie that off. Cut off the extra. Because of the, the way the eyes are tied in, this is actually the bottom of the fly. So I actually have two pieces of orange marabou. This ends up about here. I want this body to end up short of the tail. So once you got it, you just do a couple loose wraps, keep it in position, tighten those down, and then you can do several more wraps. Just really lock it in, and then take off the extra. And once you have all your uh, stack of deer hair, I take about half and half. I put that on either side of the hook. Just short or just even with most of that tail material. A couple loose wraps to position it and pull tight. A few more wraps on there. Take all this stuff off. everything back. Really get this tied down. And you can do more figure eights on your eyes just to make sure that those don't move. And eventually end up just in front of your eyes. A couple of, of half hitches around the eye of the hook would do it. However, I'm also going to back it up with a nice whip tie finish. Okay, now that that's whipped, that should be about it. Once that goes in the water, all that hair will lie back. Everything will kind of line up and turn into one undulating, hopefully irresistible mass. Mm -hmm.